Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I am your host, John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day, Lord. And thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how you never left us alone, Lord God, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that we can bring our petition to you, Lord God. So, Lord, we pray, Lord, that on this hour, on this, on this portion of this particular broadcast, Lord God, Lord, we pray, Lord, that hearts will be penetrated, Lord God, Lord, hearts will be convicted, Lord God, Lord, and you see, oh God, Lord, what has been, what the message uh, is about, Lord God, so Lord, we pray, Lord, that you just, uh, just bless, Lord God, Lord, have your way on this day, Lord, we pray for the inspiration, we pray for the anointing on this message, Lord God, Lord, we pray for the, for the message bearer, Lord God, Lord, and Lord, we pray, Lord, that, that backslides be reclaimed, Lord, and and sanctify believers that your name will be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, at this time, we thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, broadcast. And this is the way to eternal life coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate you all tremendously for each and every time that you have um, tuned in and downloaded. We appreciate you all tremendously. Pray for all the first responders. Um, the doctors, nurses, the janitors, the anybody that's on the front lines, we we thank you and appreciate you all tremendously for the glory of God. So at this time, we do have a selection. We pray that this song will be a blessing to you. And afterwards, we're going to come back for the conclusion of today's message. May the Lord bless and keep you. Always will 
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum li- listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. They're going on their Amazon and they're buying things and on top of buying things. And then they go to, they, they, they want to go to the ice cream pie and they just want to get something so they could just shut out God. You can't shut out God. My pastor the other day preached the message entitled, God is dealing with us directly. He's taken out, the pastor said it this way, and I'm just quoting, and Lord's willing, we're gonna, we're gonna air that message later. But, in this sense, in this case, listen, folks, listen. I could stay at home all day long, but yet people get mad because they ain't got no income coming in. And now, now, now abuse is, um, now abuse is coming on. What you got to be mad for? God kept you alive. You ought to be thanking him instead of being sitting there complaining all the time. Where is God to do things? Or you just don't have time. Oh, I'm thinking about committing suicide because that's, that's, that's the only way out because nobody ain't going to miss me. What kind of thinking is that? God's trying to talk you out of committing suicide and, and trying to talk you out of all this stuff. Where is Christ? the movies not what movie you're going to look at on Netflix not what you're going to look at on YouTube not about comforting your heart I'm comforting you when you try you condemn no I'm not condemning you okay here's the comforting part Jesus is here but who wants him who's ready for him are you still tired of being sick and tired of sin? Or would you rather go out? Sitting there watching because you're getting bored and the devil magnifies certain things and, and you ain't getting what you're supposed to be getting at your house and, and the spouse don't want to really don't want to look at you and the, the other one don't want to look at you and then, then all of a sudden the only way I can get any harassment around here is that I got to look at pornography. Come on now. And then, and then that pornography is getting me all riled up. Well then now, now I'm looking at my children. Come on.
Devil knows devil is dirty. Devil have you all twisted. When you're not saved, you, your mind is already twisted. How many can say that God gave you another chance? He giving, let me tell you something, God's giving you a chance right now. It's not a coincidence that you just so happily just tune in one day or you saw a Facebook ad that said, come to the way of the eternal life and that's good and I'm glad you did. But that's not a coincidence because God had you to come over here. God's the one that told you to, to give me a chance. He's giving you hope. That's the hope. The hope is not in the dope. The hope is in Christ. God said, Jesus is saying, can you just let me in? I could be your friend. I'm your comforter. I'm, I am. That's why it says I am. The pastor used to say this. He's, when, when, he, when Moses said to, when he was standing there at the, at the high mountain, and then all of a sudden the burning bush that didn't really consume and everything else, and then it fascinated him and all of that. And then God said, then, then he told God after the very end of all the excuses that he had and all this, that, and the other. So I'm just paraphrasing to kind of bring it, condense this down. It's saying that, uh, 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 he said, well, Lord, who is it? Who can I say to these people? What can I tell Pharaoh? And he said, I am that I am. That's it. What does that mean? I am anything you ever want and need. I am your fixer. I am your healer. The great I am is the best cheerleader you can ever have. The devil ain't going to lift you up. The devil's going to bring you down. God lifts up. God brings prosperity. God brings joy. The joy unspeakable and full of glory. When you wake up, you're happy. When you go to bed, you're happy with a clear conscience. That's the good news. Whether God heals you of your body or not, but you still got joy. Glory be to God. You still got joy. You can wake up. You can be, you're in your right mind. You're not thinking of anything ungodly. You're saying God's going to take care of this. God gave you victory over the things that you never thought that you would ever get victory over. Got you victory over pornography. Got you victory over drugs. Got you victory over alcohol. You were a compulsive alcoholic. And now God freed you of that. You were a compulsive gambler. And God freed you from that. You were, you were, you were smoking 8, 10, 15 packs a day. And yet God freed you from that. God freed you from all the cussing spirits. Every time you, everything comes out of your mouth was a cuss word. And God freed you from that. That is true joy. That is happiness. That is good news. When they told the, when he told the, uh, when the angels of the Lord told the, told the, the, the people in the field, the, the shepherds that were in the field, he said, fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy that, the, that in the city of David there is born the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. That's good news. He saves from the utmost Jesus saves. From the God of most, he saves. He picks you up. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Because he did not have to save you. I praise God for saving me. Because all my life, all I knew was see you, must see you, will see you, can't help. But yet God freed you 
from the king of hells. That's deliverance. Don't have to come up here to shake no preacher's hand. If you want to know how to join God's church, the Bible says this and that was born in her. You are born in God's church. You, that's why the Bible says ye must be born again. When you are born again, meaning when God gives you a new, a new life, a new purpose, a new spiritual body and everything else, then you are automatically a member of God's church. You don't have to shake your preacher's hand. There's no protocols that you got to do. The only protocol that you have to do is give up you. Give up self. Give up sin and come to Christ. That's why he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. But who wants it? Or are you just going to reject it and say, I'm good? I'm going to be drafted in the NFL. You know, the, the draft pick. But there is no room. I'm thinking about my career. I can't wait till we go out and, and party all night long. Oh, I can't wait till we do a drag race. Oh, I can't wait till we go to the Kentucky Derby. Oh, I cannot wait till we do this. Oh, I cannot wait to do that. No, how about I can't wait to go to heaven. Praise God. Just to be with, with Jesus for all eternity. Oh, no more sickness, no more dying, no more tests and trials, no nothing. As the song point said, just walk around heaven all day. Glory be to God. When you want that, or there's just no room. There's just no room. My friends, your best days are here. Young people, he wants to, wants to mold you and to make you a powerhouse for him. That you can influence your friends while this is why you're at your house, while it's getting close to the summer. You can influence your friends. You can actually turn and turn this communities, your communities around all over the world. You can you can change lives through the power of Jesus. That's why it says that if I be lifted up, I'll draw him into me. He wants young people, he wants middle-aged people, he wants older people. Those who have influence, those who can, uh, who has a huge platform that can use it for his glory, not use it for your own political gain, not use it for your own, uh, uh, your own selfish purpose. Instead of bringing good, bringing glad tidings of great joy. God wants to use you, but he wants you to get out of you so he can come in. But there is no room. We can sit here all day about how many times we can make face masks. There's only so many times we can make face masks. There's only so many times that, that you can, uh, uh, we can talk about COVID-19 until we're blue in the face. Or can we use this time to bring souls into his kingdom? We, it is time right now to tear down the devil's kingdom. It's time to build up God's kingdom. Well, what's the kingdom of God? Well, it's not meat or drink. Paul brought this out. It's not meat or drink, but it's righteousness. It is peace. It is joy in the Holy Ghost. Don't you want that? There's no time for entertainment. Time is too short. This World is coming to an end and Jesus is coming back. I know you heard that preached so many times, but it's a broken record. But Jesus is coming back.
It's coming back for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. In other words, I don't want to find no crack in my life that I won't be able to make heaven. That's why the Bible says we, with the, with the righteous, scarcely make it in. When where shall the ungodly be? In other words, we're going to barely make it in ourselves. The devil will press us all the way until our last dying breath. But let me tell you something. It'll be worth it all when you hear these words. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. There's no time to fare sumptuously every day. Building up treasures on this earth. How about building yourself treasures in heaven? I look up at what the word treasure means. It means something of value. Your salvation is of value. Your life is of value. And the devil wants to take that away from you. The devil wants to take away your dreams. The devil wants to take away your hope, take away your desire. He wants, to, he wants you to be so miserable that it will cause you to either want to kill yourself or about to kill yourself. Will you make room for him? Will you? Or there's just no room. You got room for comedy sketches. You got room for SNL, which is Saturday Night Live. Here in America. You got room for everything else. Oh, we got all these strong women and that's good in this place. But let me tell you something. You can be all strong uh, naturally all you want to, but God knows how to bring you down. God knows how to bring you down to your knees. Will you take him in? Will you? There's just no room. That's the sad thing. That's sad, man. That you you have room for everything else but God and be lost for all eternity. I don't care how many awards you get. I don't care how many accolades you get. It does not substitute. the joy or the emptiness that you're feeling right now. It's only temporary relief. My friends, there's just no room. As we preach this today, I preached my heart out. But now it's up to you. What you're going to do. May God bless you. I'll be back in just a moment. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at Contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with The Final Thoughts. As you heard the word of God today, people that are on this podcast right now, you heard it. Will you make room for him? 
while the inspiration is here, while it is now, will you make room for him? This is your final, this could be your final message. This could be your final plea. If you're in the hospital and you're wherever you may be, this may be your last chance to get it right with God. And yeah, you want to pass that up? Will you make room for him? Will you give your all to him? In order to get help, you have to admit what your condition is. There's just no room. Is there no room for Christ in the end in your heart? Or will you open your heart up today and receive him before the everlasting too late? Don't let this be, Lord, is it I? Don't let this be, you will give an account for what you've heard. What does it say to me? Matthew 1, 21. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Jesus' people are saved from sin. When you give your heart and life to him, you can be free that very time that very hour, that very second. But you've got to give it all to him. Don't pretend, don't get into the emotionalism of it, but give it all to him. And when the Bible says, um, Godly sorrow worketh repentance, not to be repented of. In other words, that you got to be sorry for hurting God to his heart. Saying, God, I am so sorry for hurting you. Please come into my life. Let him be the Lord of my life. I was an abuser. I was this. I was that. Whatever your issue is, acknowledge it. And be sick and tired of being sick and tired of sin. So that you can come to him before the other life is too late. If you've done that, I'd like to hear from you. Email me at contact John Gill at way to eternal life.com or leave a um, Facebook comment at uh, way to uh, facebook.com for, uh, forward slash way to eternal life 53 and leave a comment there saying I gave my heart and life to him. Glory be to God. And I'm praying for you. We love you out there. I love you out there. I won't be preaching the way I'm preaching right now if we didn't love or care. I care about your one and only soul. It's time, man. It's time, woman. It's time, young people. Let's come to God before the everlasting too late. Make room for Christ right now. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May the Lord richly bless and may he keep you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.